in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 7.3, day one, how to find x and y intercepts of a line. We're not going to graph today, we're just going to do a lot of like solving equations when we plug in 0 for x and 0 for y. First thing we want to know is what are an x-intercept and a y-intercept. The x-intercept is the point where a line crosses the x-axis and it occurs when y equals 0. So if you think about a graph, when y equals 0, that means you would want that to be crossing your x-intercept. So like this would be a good indication of an x-intercept because this could be like 2 comma 0. And notice your x is a number, but your y is a 0. Okay, So as long as y is equal to 0, x can be anything, and that will tell you where your x-intercept would be located. The same thing is true for your y-intercept, except that happens when x is equal to 0. So maybe I have like 0 comma negative 4. That would be like down here on the graph, and that would be showing you where it would be crossing over. So what we're going to be doing today is plugging in x is 0 and y is 0 to find out where could those x and y intercepts be. In order to find your intercepts, you have to plug in 0 for y and solve for x. And for your y-intercept, plug in 0 for x and solve for y. So whatever this says, you're going to do the opposite and plug in 0. Okay? So like the opposite of x is y, y would get the 0. For y-intercept, the opposite of that is x, so x would get the 0. So we have four examples. We're going to start here. The first one we want to find is our x-intercept, and that is when y equals 0. So I'm going to take this equation and say 3x minus 2 times 0, so I'm plugging in the 0 for y, equals negative 8. 2 times 0 is just 0, so I have 3x is equal to negative 8. And then when I divide both sides by 3, I'm going to get x is equal to, we'll just keep it as an improper fraction, negative 8 thirds. Or you can give me a decimal, but this will be fine too. So my ordered pair would be negative 8 thirds comma 0. So that's where your x-intercept would end up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's talk about your y-intercept. Your y-intercept happens when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to plug in 0 where my x happens, which is right next to the 3. Minus 2y is equal to negative 8. 3 times 0 just goes away. So I'm left with negative 2y equals negative 8. And I'm going to divide by negative 2 so that y is equal to 4. So my y-intercept is 0, 4. So these are the two answers that I'd be looking for when it says find the intercepts. Here is the x one x-intercept, and here is the y, okay? If you feel comfortable trying this one on your own, pause the video. If not, you can watch me try this one one more time and maybe then try three and four on your own, but let's give it a go. So x-intercepts means y equals zero. So I have seven x minus five times zero equals 10. Negative five times zero is zero, so that goes away. So I get seven x is equal to 10. Dividing both sides by seven, I'm just left with x is equal to 10 over seven. I'm going to keep it as a fraction, so 10 over 7 comma 0 is my x-intercept, okay? For my y-intercept, that is when x is equal to 0, so instead of 7x, I'm going to say 7 times 0 minus 5y is equal to 10. 7 times 0 is 0, so all that's left is negative 5y equaling 10. Divide both sides by negative 5 to get y all by itself, I'm going to get negative 2 so 0 comma negative 2 is my y-intercept. So here are my two answers for question 2. Now if you haven't tried this one or one on your own, let's go ahead and pause the video here. See if you can try this one on your own. And when you're ready to check it, click play. So the first one I'm going to do, x-intercept, when y equals 0. So that's 2x plus 0 equals negative 4. Well, 2x plus 0 is just 2x. So I get 2x is equal to negative 4. Then I divide both sides by negative by 2, and I get 2 x is equal to negative 2. So that first x-intercept will be negative 2, comma, 0. Then my y-intercept is when x equals 0. So 2 times 0 plus y equals negative 4. This one's going to end up being very nice. 
2 times 0 is just 0, so I get y is equal to negative 4, and I'm done. 0 comma negative 4 is my y-intercept. Okay? Our final example is number 4. Let's pause it here, try these on your own, and when you're ready to check it, click play. All right, x-intercept has to be y is equal to 0, so 6 times x plus 5 times 0 equals 5. 5 times 0 is just 0, so I'm left with 6x is equal to 5. Dividing both sides by 6, I'm going to get x is equal to 5 over 6. So that ordered pair will be 5, 6, comma, 0. This is my x-intercept. Y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So 6 times 0 plus 5y equals 5. 6 times 0 is 0, so all that's left is 5y is equal to 5 divide both sides by 5, I get y is equal to 1, so my y-intercept is 0, comma, 1. Okay? That'll conclude our video for today. Tomorrow on day 2, we'll talk about how to graph these and what they would look like. Thanks so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you, and we'll catch you next time. Have a great day.